Hello, and welcome to our evening broadcast. I'm Ron Burgundy, here with my co-host, Tyrone Lequefius. Today we're going to be informing you about the different stages of the cell cycle. The cell cycle has six steps, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. These are all important and essential to one another. We have breaking news. We are panning into a live broadcast of the cell organelle and DNA multiplying. Our sources tell us that this is process is called interphase. We have just received new information telling us that interphase is important because it provides necessary proteins for the cell and clones chromosomes. If the DNA isn't multiplying, the cell would fall short of materials needed to split. Interphase would occur when the cell is preparing for mitosis. In other news, chromosomes are duplicating inside of cells. The process has been named prophase. Prophase is when the chromosomes inside of cells are condensed to form straight, tight structures inside of the cells. Each chromosome now has two identical copies of itself called sterchromatids. Prophase is important because it allows the cells inside of chromosomes to duplicate and carry over to the soon-to-be new version of the cell as a whole. Prophase begins right after interphase ends. After this stage is when metaphase starts to happen in the cell. This stage consists of the chromosomes from the cell that get lined up and attached to the spindle fiber, and then the spindle fiber proceeding to separate the sister chromatids from their pair. This phase is important because it makes sure that the cell splits properly and doesn't break. This process would occur during the second stage of mitosis and before anaphase. We will now hand over the rest of the cell cycle segment to Arnold Dorian and Bobbert McGilligan. Thank you, Tyrone. We have more breaking news. Anaphase is the fourth stage of the cell cycle. During this stage, each pair of chromosomes are pulled apart into their own independent chromosomes. Then after this, the cell itself begins to be pulled apart by polo microtubules. After that, they then get into the position to move to the opposite poles. This process is important be because it starts off the split of the cell and allows the chromosomes to get into position. Wow, isn't that amazing? After that stage comes telophase, where the chromatids move to opposite poles of the cell and two nuclei are formed inside of the cell, and the cell gets ready to split. This process is important because it prepares the cell to split into the copy of itself and ensures that the chromatids are in position for the cell to split. After this stage becomes the final stage called cytokinesis. In cytokinesis, the cell determines the point where it wants to split and separates into two daughter cells. This is important because it is the final stage of the cell cycle and it allows the entire process to have been worth something. And now to conclude our broadcast, we send you back to Ron Burgundy and Tyrone Lequithis. Thank you for tuning in to our evening broadcast on the cell cycle. I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Tyrone Lequithis. Stay, Stay classy. classy.